So the super sterling and the sterling, there's a lot of body types associated with them. And this is just a late 60s model. This happens to be a manual. So just like most of the other Smith Curls, right on the back and behind the handles, you're going to find the carriage release. And you can hear on this one, the bell still sounds really nice and the carriage is really smooth. Um, there's no paper holder on this one, but there's the margins and you just press and move to where you want the margins to be set over here. Um, down here, the LMH, this is just going to determine how hard you, the type bars strike the paper. So if you want it to be a little less dark or darker, you can adjust here. Your ribbon color is going to be on this side, black and red. And before you change your ribbon, it's going to be, first of all, your ribbon's going to be underneath the cover here. So let me show you before you open that cover, please move your carriage all the way to the left and then open it up. And you'll see inside that it uses a universal ribbon and it just simply pops down in there very easy. Make sure when it is time to change your ribbon that you put in the ribbon with the black on the top part and the red on the bottom, and then make sure it is threaded through the metal guide wires properly. Now the ribbon is, um, when you get to the end of the spool, some typewriters just lock up and other typewriters just, uh, the font gets really faint. And when that happens, you need to reverse the direction of the spool. And on this typewriter, the ribbon reversal is right here behind the left spool. And you just click it up or down, whichever way you need to go. And you barely move it, but it makes a difference. And that's how you change the direction of the ribbon. Now keep in mind, um, a lot of times, um, issues associated with um, the typewriter have to do with the ribbon. and. It still happens to me, even though I know this, something will stop working on the typewriter and I'll get frustrated and I call my husband up and he just comes and he switches the direction of the ribbon and even, and it solves it. So um, when you're having issues with the typewriter, always try adjusting the direction of your ribbon and that most likely is going to solve um, a lot of issues, even when people call us. Almost, I would say nine times out of ten, it has to do with either the ribbon's not installed properly or it's going the wrong direction. But you don't think of it when you're typing and all of a sudden the typewriter just kind of freezes up. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's go ahead and do a typing demonstration. First of all, before I do that real quick, this says one, two, and three. This has to do with advancing a single line double line or triple, okay? So to load your paper, you just set it right here. And I like to use this metal guide. Um, it helps put your paper in straight. And if you're using multiple pages, um, that way you're always putting it in the same spot. Move it over. So you just put it there and you roll the paper through. And pop this down and you can see I got it in crooked. That's what this lever is on the right side. This releases the tension. You'll see a bar down here with um, uh, numbers. This releases, releases the tension of that bar. You can adjust the paper, let it back down, and now you're ready to go. And I have it on triple line. Let's put the here. This feels really good for typing. This is um, 
this would be a good typer to take if um, you want to go to a um, coffee shop or you have uh, typing groups or type-ins, write-ins that you like to go to. This would be an easily portable typewriter for you. You don't have to plug it in. So um, those of you who are into typewriter poetry, you're looking for something to journal on. Even uh, there's a lot of people who purchase typewriters for their kids. This would be a really good one as well. Try out the red. Okay, so this one looks really nice. Um, and it works very well. You're going to really like this. So once we get this detailed up, um, you're going to in really enjoy this. This is going to be a good, um, I would say, maybe everyday typewriter. Not necessarily. It's still good if you want to write books. I would. It's still going to work for you. Um, however, it's probably not as high of a quality or as um, smooth of a typewriter that uh, I like to see for those who are going to be doing extensive writing for books, manuscripts, screenwriting, you know, that kind of thing. But for short stories, poetry, children, um, casual writing, cards, letters, this is going to be a really good choice and especially it's easily portable. Thanks so much for watching. You can see all the links to our Etsy shop and our website below in the comments. And uh, leave any feedback if you want. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.